Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan again from Milky Way Art Design. I hope you all are doing well. So recently I got a commission where I have to create a bunch of uh, 6 inch by 6 inch tile uh, using different techniques. So I am couple of, on a couple of them I am going to do modified bloom technique and I thought hey why don't I share this uh, creation video with you guys because especially some of you have shared your interest to try this out and still struggling to get a desired result. So I thought that if I show you how to start small that might help you in the longer run once you get comfortable with the smaller tiles or surface then you can go big so um that's the idea behind today's video i hope you'll enjoy it uh, paint i'll start with showing you how to mix my colors so this is my pouring medium and the recipe is going to be in the description section and i take a teensy bit of the pouring medium because it's going to be a tiny little tile so i just take that much and with that i am going to mix the uh, little bit of pigment which is from primary this element and the name of the color. pigment is called hot cinnamon. hot cinnamon so i take itsy bitsy of the hot cinnamon and that. you always will see that on the top of the um cap i, this, I see put a dot of the liquid color, color so i can see the when they are like um, when they are mixed with pouring medium what the color would look like because often the colors are deceiving the powder colors doesn't match with the mixed color so, so um as you can see i am mixing the color okay very well at this yes, time there would normal. be some little uh, specks of uh, pigments and you do, very make sure that, that it's dissolved very me. well and now so with that pigment I'm going, I'm going to add i am going to add um, it's called it's called knockout, knockout from primary element i from think this is discontinued i bought a bunch of these so from last year when they were discontinuing and um, they were in clearance so, so i bought a bunch of them so that's how i got some called? leftovers so oh, it's called knockout by the way um, the consistency that you see in the cup that works for just regular bloom technique but if i am trying to modify my bloom you need a body to your uh, pigment mix so that's why i have to add some uh, liquid paint heavy body paint to make sure that you have a thicker um, mix your goal is to make sure that when you modify your painting um the shapes that you create they don't get smushed up with one another so that's why you need a thicker consistency as you can see uh it's creating a very nice color and also the consistency is pretty thick at this right point now. you have to mix it very well the reason is um sometimes pigments take longer time to dissolve into the mixture since the mixture is pretty thick the next color that i am going to use is combination That's of the um, art minds knockout and this time i'm going to mix my pigment directly with the um the Again, acrylic medium or acrylic no, paint there's no medium mixed here paint. right now yes, so because i'm thinking i'm going to mix the uh pigment with the paint and then if i need i will add some pouring medium and i'm so excited to use my new tlps that arrived recently and i didn't get a chance to use them so now i am going to um use the name of the color is or pigment is called groovy so i'm going to mix some groovy with my knockout wow um and create this next color and we will see how it turns out 
and I'm sure it's going to take even longer to mix both of them together and get the desired results because I am I have not pre-mixed the pigment with the pouring medium on this one before so we'll see how it goes the third color is mixed with TLP's Shangri-La with Joe Sonia's Burgundy so these are the three colors that I'm going to use today Today's base coat is kind of unique because my client asked for this color. So for this base coat color, I used a bunch of acrylic paints to mix with my regular Walmart paint to create that color. So these are the colors that I mixed to get to my base coat color, which I am liking it, but not sure if I love it yet. We will see how the painting turns out at the end of the day.